Hello and welcome! In this example, I want to show you how to find the zeros of a function using the TI-85 or 86 graphing calculator. Now, in this example that I've cooked up, I have a pretty large polynomial, and finding the zeros tends to be pretty tricky. Let's go ahead and grab our calculators to see exactly what's happening with this process. So here we have our calculator, and we need to get this polynomial entered in. So go ahead and press your graph button, and then select the first option where it says y of x. All right, and here's where we can type it in. x to the fifth power plus a 12 x to the fourth power minus 83 x to the third minus 200 x squared plus 95 x plus 205. There we go. So it's pretty long. Go ahead and double check it. Make sure you have all of your signs listed out. And then go ahead and press your second F5 for your graph and actually take a look at this. There we go. Now as it draws out the graph you can see that basically it just looks like a whole bunch of vertical lines. The reason this is happening is that the polynomial is going off the screen. It's going so large and so small that we actually can't see all the peaks and valleys. Now this is going to make finding the zeros a little bit more hard because I can't necessarily see my blinking cursor when I use the find uh, roots function. Now another thing to keep in mind is that when it does go so tall and so large off the screen that we might not actually be seeing the entire picture. For problems like this, you might have to readjust your window just a little bit. To readjust the window, this is for F2. It says range. So press F2 and maybe set this for a little bit larger from negative 20 to 20 on your x's. All right? Once that is all set, press F5 for your graph. Look at that. With a much larger window, I can see that there's actually another zero somewhere out here by a negative 16. Now in order to start hunting these down, what I'm basically going to do is try and hunt down some of these ones on, the, you know, away from the origin and then zoom in a little bit closer to those ones near zero. All right? So let's go through that method and see exactly how we can find these. So I want to go to my roots uh, function. So I'm going to press the more button and I'm selecting my first option for math. Here I will select root and a little blinking cursor shows up on the screen. Now I want to move this as close to this zero as possible and as soon as I start to press my arrow keys it goes off the screen. Now that's okay, it's still there and the calculator is still keeping track of it. It says that right now it's somewhere at negative two. So I'm going to keep moving it off to the left until it's somewhere close to a negative sixteen. There we go. So I've set it at, looks like, a negative 16.5. And even though I can't see it, it should be close enough to actually find that root. So now I'm going to press Enter, and the calculator is going to do the work for us. All right. So it says it found one of our first roots at negative 16.31, let's say 7. Let's round that. All right, so that's one of the the zeros of our function. Now let's have it go ahead and find this other zero on the other side. That one looks like it's located around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, somewhere around 6. So go ahead and press your graph button so we can get our options back. Press more, go into math, roots, and now move your cursor as close to 6 as you can. Remember to look at the readings on the bottom to see where your cursor is at. So now I have it somewhere around 6, press enter, and let's see what it finds. Alright, so this one is located around 6.168, if we go ahead and round that one. Alright, so now that we've found these zeros kind of away from the origin, let's go ahead and readjust our window to see if we can get a better view of those ones. So I'm going to press my graph button, and then press F2 for range, and I want to make a much smaller window, so let's just take this from negative 5 to 5 on the x's. All right. Now let's press graph and see what that looks like. All 
All right, so my lines are still pretty vertical, but it looks like I have one somewhere around negative two, maybe another one around negative one, and maybe one last one around a one. So let's go through those options again. Uh, so I want to press the more button, math, select my root, and then move my cursor as close to negative two as I can. There, okay, so that's pretty close to a negative two. I'll press enter, and let's see what it finds. All right, this one's located at negative 1.889-ish. Cool. All right, let's do that another time. So graph, more, math, root. And this one I'm going to move really close to negative one. Look at that, you can even see the blinking cursor this time. It's actually showing up on the screen. So I'll press enter. And this one says it's around negative 1.0. Let's see, that would round to actually 2. All right, one last one to go, and this one's around 1. So graph, more, math, root. Move it really close to one, and press enter. All right, this one's around 1.057. All right, and there you go. So since this is a fifth degree polynomial, and I have five roots here, I know that I've found all of my zeros. And there you go. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.